Hello everyone. Sure miss you all. I want to share today from Joshua 23 verses 10 and 11. I referenced this passage in my prayer time yesterday. It goes, one of you routes a thousand because the Lord your God fights for you just as he promised. So be very careful to love the Lord your God. I would call this passage the release of ratios because it has a ratio in it of one to one thousand. What if the one thousand was the coronavirus or even demon spirits that is behind the coronavirus? or infections, or attacks against your family. And all it takes in this verse is to say that one will route or put to flight 1,000. So that's a beautiful thing because it goes on to say the Lord fights for you just as he promised. But who is it that can put 1,000 to flight? Verse 11 says who? It says, so be very careful to love the Lord your God. Well, it doesn't just say, love the Lord your God. It says, be very careful. Another version says, be diligent to love the Lord your God. The greatest command is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now, everybody loves God, if you're a believer. But too often, a sense of loving God is more of an emotion or feeling, and it doesn't really impact lifestyle. Really loving God or being diligent to love God means to make choices. All our issues can be on the front burner and God is on the back burner. To love God means we're going to make a switch. We're going to put him on the front burner and we're going to put all our stuff on the back burner, trusting him to take care of them. That means that when we're in shelter in place and we want to be diligent to love God, we are going to love God by being nice, being patient, when we are in shelter in place, we are also going to make time for the word, make time for prayer, because that's how to make choices that you are loving God. In fact, when we are shelter in place, here's a passage of scripture that describes the behavior we need. It's called the love chapter, and it says love is patient in shelter in place. Love is kind when in shelter in place. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude in shelter in place. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered when in shelter in place. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects in shelter in place. It's always trust always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. You see, when we are in quarantine, shelter in place, a lot of things are not ordinary. So it can put a lot of pressure on our behavior, in our loving behavior. But this verse tells us that if we are diligent to love God, we can route 1,000, or two of you can get together, pray together, and route 2,000, or 1,000 believers all over the world can route 1 million. So what we're saying is that we can believe that God is going to give us an incredible victory as we learn to love him diligently when in shelter in place. Thank you.